your take on the growing recession, maybe late this year, mid next year debate? Brian, I'm going to disagree with Carl Icahn on this one. I don't see any recession. Of course, if I say it, it's going to be wrong. The thing I would look to, Brian, is jobs. So long as people are employed, we're not going to see a recession. I'm not concerned about the Fed, um, the yield curve. I think that's largely manipulated by the Fed. So the flattening of the yield curve doesn't concern me. Inflation, I think of as more temporary. So I would be looking at jobs. If people start losing their jobs, that's when I'd start worried, worrying about recession. Okay, some, some comforting words there. Does that necessarily, though, mean that the, the economy and the stock market, Kate, are very different things? So you're a little more optimistic on the economy. Does that make you optimistic on the macro market for stocks? Uh, on the macro market for stocks, I'm also going to be optimistic on this one. Remember, last time when Janet Yellen raised rates three or four times, the stock market went up 70%. Trump got the credit. But you have to look at what's happening with rates. When rates go up, this attracts funds from Europe and Japan. Look at the dollar a yen uh, exchange rate right now. The Fed announced that they were going to raise uh, rates. The yen weakened. So when rates go up, it's going to attract funds. Ultimately, those funds end up in the stock market. Stock market has been irrational for a long time. What has changed? It's not clear to me that it's going to go down because someone says all of a sudden the multiple should be 16 times. That's been the case for five years. It still goes up. So you're not worried by higher rates, a 10 year, you know, 2.4%, maybe even higher than that in a few weeks or months. I'm not worried about higher rates. I think the rate picture is set by the marginal buyer. That used to be you and me. Today, that is the Fed. The Fed is largely dovish. They're concerned about baby boomers. They're concerned about savings. They're not going to let this market go to hell in a handbasket. So I am not concerned. I am concerned about the war in Ukraine. I am concerned about, is this going to spread further? Are we going to get into World War III? Um, how bad is it going to be in Europe? That, that, those are the things that keep me up at night. Yeah. Yeah, as they should. And I think they do all of us. But I, I get to a point, Kate, uh, where you start to say, well, things get too bad then talking about market multiples won't matter anyway, so we might as well go ahead and do it. Uh, let's talk about a couple of stocks that you like before we let you go. Uh, trying to sleep at night can be hard for many, even outside the war, due to things like sleep apnea and COPD. Many people, largely uh, middle-aged, sort of overweight men, suffer from sleep apnea, which is one reason you like ResMed. That, that's the reason I like ResMed. So what is sleep apnea and why is it important? So during very deep sleep, which is known as REM sleep, apparently, if you fit this category, your air passages literally collapse. So you wake up coughing several times a night. You don't even realize you're doing it. And this does cause daytime sleepiness, irritability, lack of concentration. But then it also causes depression, high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, all kinds of things. So we have an aging population, apparently, 25% of the population over age 30 suffers from some form of sleep apnea. Dressable market is 900 wow. million globally. And the company sells a breathing machine and a mask you wear during sleep. It's big, big market, growing company, debt-free, enormous free cash flow margins. The stock is not cheap, has never been cheap, yeah. but I think it's a buy.